Okay, this is the Aquapel 3 Coolometric Coral Fisher Titrator, and today uh, we're running actually a new water st uh, standard. It's actually a water standard oil, and um, unlike the other two popular uh, water standards, uh, 0.1 and 1.0, where you're measuring, uh, trying to get within a, an error range of 100 ppm of uh, 10 ppm of 100 ppm, 10% variability on on that water standard, or the 1.0, which is a thousand parts per million plus or minus 3%, which would be 1,030 or 970 ppm. Uh, this new water standard oil by Sigma Aldridge is different in that it's so new that there's really no standard air. It hasn't been used that much, but what they've done is it's actually, they've taken lots of, we'll call it oil, uh, that they used for the standard and they've tested it and they've come up with, here's the results that we get. And for this particular water standard uh, oil, um, this is it. It's, um, it is a wa hydrogen water <coughs> standard oil. Um, what they're telling us is that on a coolometric uh, unit uh, in, uh, with direct injection, they were able to get 6 ppm and they estimate about 1 ppm variability that you might get. So this is a low level standard that some people like to use to verify their low readings. Uh, this is new, it hasn't been offered before and the Aquapel is excellent at getting these low level uh, readings uh, with a single reagent or a dual reagent setup and that uh, um, when we talk about single reagent uh, we're talking about the generator electrode which does not have a frit, does not have a second reagent and that's exactly what this setup has. This is a single reagent coolometric Carl Fisher titrator and we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this standard. So already what I've done is I've taken this ampule uh, I popped the top and I drew out uh, two mils. They recommend two mils. Um, and I'm using a disposable syringe and a four inch needle. Um, I do prefer to use a gas tight uh, syringe when I'm doing water standards, but for the purposes of this uh, test, I, that's all I have today, so I'm going to run it with, the, with a disposable syringe. So I went ahead and I pulled about two mils into a syringe and it's on the scale right now. So without um, for their interruption, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a test. So to do it, it's very simple. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select WW, which is what the Aquapella uses uh, when we're running a test that uses weight um, for uh, measuring uh, the moisture. So I went ahead, it's asking now for a total weight. Uh, the total weight that I have with the syringe and the sample on the, si on the balance right now is uh, reading off and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that syringe and I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I'm going to enter the weight 7.0490. Hit enter and now it's going to prompt me for, it's going to get ready to go. It's waiting, it's going through a, a Precondition, but now it's ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to inject the sample and I'm going to press the start button. And um, the idea is to get the needle underneath the liquid level and hit the start button so that you're measuring all the water in this sample. So here we go. I'm going to what I typically do is I go ahead and get the uh, needle into the septa so it's not so hard to push down. And then once that's ready, I go ahead. And I press it in, I press the start button, and I begin pressing my standard. And this standard actually has a little bit of push to it, or it's difficult sometimes to push it all out. So we get it all out, we take it out, and we take our needle straight back to our balance to, to re-weigh the empty syringe. And so now it's, uh, it's measured and wants us to put the tear weight in, which is the ending weight. So I can see the balance, we're going to go ahead and put that in. And we have a result. In this case, it's uh, 8.2 ppm. So it um, looks like this standard is working well, and the Aquapel single reagent is really uh, measuring this well. Uh, I can even zoom in on that result. You can see from these two tests that I, the first test, uh, I was at 10.2, and then I ran the second 8.2. Um, and if I ran more, I 
would probably stay under 10 ppm, but it's a nice check to make sure I'm getting my low-level ppms. This is the Aquapel 3 with a single reagent uh, generator electrode, uh, and these are the results using this standard.